Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. We've got some more Aladdin, got some more lore, some intense Disney storytelling of the finest degree. So we finished the first stage in Agrabah, and we caught up with our main squeeze, Jasmine. Abu is not very excited about that. He does not want the third wheel as he witnesses this hot, sweet lovin'. So we escape the city, but uh, it was all for naught, unfortunately. We get caught by the city guards and we're taken to the dungeon. I don't know how many of you have actually seen Aladdin or paid attention to a film that is close to 30 years old now, but hopefully this isn't spoiling anything for you. This kind of beginning scroll is just some truncated version of the story, so. This is what you get to follow along. I would recommend watching the movie, it's quite good. The 90s Disney animated films are all pretty high caliber. I say that because I'm incredibly biased because that's what I watched as a kid, but I mean, it all really holds up. I mean, most of their content's pretty good. Especially the content that they haven't uh, tried to repurpose and re redo since then. But anyway, we're in this cave. This is supposed to be the Cave of Wonders, which if you've seen the film or watched the beginning scroll, it's that lion's mouth kind of thing. So we have these weird little stalactites that are on the ceiling that if you grab onto them, you can knock them onto the ground and use them as platforms. That's pretty nice. Trying to catch gems. Collect, not catch. Trying to collect these gems is pretty good to do. Uh, I did figure out what happens when you get 100, you get another heart, so we'll have to deal with these keys here in this cave. I like that, you know, bats have just become synonymous with keys in my mind from how much Zelda I've played in my life. So jumping on those guys is a little tricky to do, but if you get it just right, it launches you pretty high and it can help you to get to obstacles and things up above, like that red gem and that scarab that we just collected. Jumping up there will get you a 1-up, which is pretty useful. Lives are kind of at a premium in this game. You have the ability to do... I guess I would say, like, continues, credits, whatever you want to call them. But that's something I wouldn't recommend doing. Collecting those red gems right there would have been good, but I forgot to do that. So, whoops, at least you know that they're there. But, uh, yeah, so not continuing in this game is actually really important. And... That's kind of common sense, like, oh, like, dying is not good, but I'll explain in a moment. We are now introduced to our new buddy, Magic Carpet. Hopefully the, uh, we'll see if the carpet matches the drapes. So, collecting that scarab, which I did in the first stage, but I don't know if it gave me this option to do this little mini game. Uh, this little roulette wheel. Just gives you a bonus of some sort, so you got lives, you got an extra heart. I don't quite know what the genie does. I think that might just be like a, a failed spot, I have no idea. And these stars give you credits, so those are continues. But you don't want to continue in this game because if you do lose all of your lives while you're playing in a run through, and you continue, right now we have four credits. Continuing will make you lose your sailcloth, which is not good. The sailcloth is one of the more useful items in this game, and it can be the difference between making a jump and landing on a platform safely or not, like that. That's what you're not supposed to do. Uh, if you jump between the bats and you don't land on the log, you will die. So Magic Carpet and Abu, they, uh, they fly away to greener pastures inside this cave. But we are left to fend for ourselves because our friends are jerks and don't care about us. So there's another red gem. I'm not going to get all of these, to be honest. Like, you'll hopefully see where they are as I play through, but this is... This run-through is very much a cash run-through. I'm not trying to, you know, be MLG Pro and collect everything. At the very least, I would like you guys to be able to see it, so you know where it is if you would like to try to go through and collect it. And if you're playing on an illegitimate copy of the game through the internet that you've borrowed, maybe you would safe state and go back and get it. So these little ropes that are hanging down in this cave, very uh, curiously, I'm not sure how that works logically. They're going to pull up the stalactites that are up above, and you have to really hold on to that until it goes all the way down. Don't rush that. Collect yourself another one up. 
Yeah, this is when the game starts to get a little more difficult. The infamous level that's after this one is probably the one that gives people the most trouble or one of the most trouble, like, besides, like, the final level, obviously. But it's coming up. This, lo this level isn't too bad, and this episode itself, as you'll see, based on the time, is pretty short, so... This is going to be a quicker episode. I'm just going to try to stick to a stage per, per episode just to not jam too much into it. And I'm kind of playing around with the idea of having things be a little bit shorter to see what you guys watching this think. I know that my Galaxy videos being around a half an hour can sometimes be a little overwhelming for somebody who doesn't really have the time to do that. So maybe if you just want to pop in, you know, catch a quick Super Nintendo Sundays and then, you know, go about your day. I understand that as well. I know that there's there's definitely a platform for both, and that's why I'm trying to mix it up and offer both to everybody. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of action-wise, it wasn't really too tough, but it's getting a little tougher. But yeah, Abu, he uh, he gets a little greedy, and as much as Magic Carpet tries to stop him, he tries to snipe that gem, and uh, all hell's going to break loose. So that's it, everybody. Stage two done. I collected all the gems, as you can see here. Congratulations to me. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. I'll see you next time. Bye.